So you want to get into anime, but you don't know where to start. Well, I may have the solution for you. Welcome to my Anime Starter Pack Guide, where each episode I bring you five of my favorite anime as recommendations for where to begin with different genres in anime. So join me as we take a look at five adventure anime that you will probably want to watch. place further than the universe, scenery that we have never seen, sounds that we have never heard, scent that we have never smelled, food that we have never tasted, and the surge of emotion that we have never experienced. The furthest south, far from civilization, at the top of the earth we will find lights through the girl's eyes to live tomorrow. With that awkward description aside, A Place Further Than the Universe is, in my opinion, one of the quintessential adventures and journey of self-discovery. In this original anime from Madhouse, we follow Mari Tamaki, a high school student who wants to make the most of her youth, but is hesitant to do so. That all changes when we meet Shiraze Kobuchisawa, a girl who wants to journey to Antarctica, where her mother disappeared three years ago. A Place Further Than the Universe is an exercise in excellent storytelling with a wonderful cast of characters. Very real, honest, raw characters. These young girls are going on a journey, on an epic quest, if you will, but based on reality. Now you're probably wondering how are these girls able to journey to Antarctica? Wouldn't that be extremely difficult for civilians? Fortunately, the series does a really commendable job of explaining how they're able to do that. At 13 episodes, you hit the sweet spot with a wonderful, wholesome story about characters going on a life-changing journey on the southernmost point in the world for a character to finally learn what truly happened to her mother and along the way prove right the old tired cliche that it's not really about the journey but more about the destination. Wonderful art, great characters, just a fantastic story overall that you can't miss. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure tells the story of the Joestar family, a family whose various members discover they are destined to take down supernatural foes using powers that they possess. This story is split up into unique parts. It's a multi-generational story following the Joestar family, like I just mentioned. It all begins in the late 19th century with the character of Jonathan Joestar and Dio Brando, and their actions reverberate for generations and decades and hundreds of years to come with different characters. This is a wonderful series that it is of course produced by David Production based on the manga of the same name by Hirohiko Araki. Well known worldwide for its iconic art style and posing, David Production captures the manga quite beautifully. If you have not read or seen Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, you've probably stumbled upon the many, many memes of that series and its heavy cult following worldwide. A wonderful cast of colorful, wacky, and outright bizarre characters as they fight creatures of the night, ghoulish monsters, and of course the random and weird characters with supernatural abilities. It's all mixed in for a really unique tale. It switches from different tropes, from the machismo era of 80s action movies to the more metrosexual and fashionable sense of the late 90s, early 2000s, frequent references to Western popular music, fashion, and battle centered around stands, Psycho's spiritual manifestations with unique supernatural abilities. This series is just a ton of fun, and the fact that you're able to continue the story through the ages makes it worthwhile to find the, that new chapter and continue the story with a relative of the Joestar family. Hunter Hunter Gon is a young boy who dreams of following in his father's footsteps to become a hunter, but first he must pass the notoriously difficult and dangerous hunter qualification exam. Throughout his journey, Gon overcomes many obstacles while making new friends along the way. Hunter x Hunter is of course based on the manga series of the same name written and illustrated by Yoshihiro Togashi. The manga series received critical acclaim and financial success as it was being released and of course receiving a 90s anime adaptation 
but instead we're focusing on the 2011 Madhouse series, which readapted the story for a new audience, a new generation, an exercise in deconstructing what fans like to refer as battle shonen, but really fantasy, adventure, and martial arts are all key ingredients that make this story such a successful one. You have a wholesome character like Gon who is looking for his father who for unknown reasons to the watcher or reader left him when he was just a young baby. So now he is going to follow in his father's footsteps and become a hunter himself to track him down and uh, learn what actually happened. Along the way, this epic journey involving Gon and his friends as they encounter dangerous individuals and powerful overlord type creatures. The series is just wonderful with a fantastic world building and of course a battle system that any other show would be envious to have. Hunter x Hunter really is one of the fan favorites for good reason. You've got wonderful art, a great cast of characters. Trust me, you will want to take a peek at the world of Hunter x Hunter. Samurai Champloo. Mugen is a fierce animal-like warrior with a unique inspired fighting style. Jean has a more traditional style, but don't think of this as a weakness because his skills are just as amazing. The two contrasting samurai warriors are far from friends, yet their separate paths seem to cross anyways. Mugen is wandering aimlessly through the city when he stumbles upon a tea house where he meets Jin and Fu, a ditzy waitress, but don't think she doesn't have anything hidden up her sleeves. Fu convinces them both to come with her in search of a mysterious samurai that smells like sunflowers. This modernized hip-hop tale breaks the barriers of the common historical samurai anime. Developed by Manglobe, Samurai Champloo was Shinichiro Watanabe's first directorial effort for an anime series after his critically acclaimed Cowboy Bebop. You're probably wondering, hey, why didn't you include Bebop? Well, we're going for more easygoing adventure styles, whereas Bebop, of course, relied heavily on the noir aspect and detective action-packed storytelling. This is more true to the sense of adventure, as you have characters meeting for an unlikely cause, joining up and going on an epic quest, a mysterious quest that will challenge all three characters and force them to grow as the story continues. Probably what sets this series apart, aside from the fantastic lighting, visuals, characters, is of course its emblematic soundtrack, blending samurai traditional folklore and samurai mythos with the culture and sounds of hip-hop, forcing them to evolve into what is described nowadays as lo-fi sounds is a spark of genius. Samurai Champloo is easily accessible to anyone daring for some good quality storytelling, fast-paced action, wonderful, beautiful characters, and a really mishmash story of this strange quest that our wholesome character Fu is embarking on. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood a reckless disregard for alchemy's fundamental laws ripped half of Edward Elric's limbs from his body and left Alphonse Elric a soul clinging to a cold suit of armor. To restore what was lost, the brothers scour a war-torn land for the Philosopher's Stone, a fabled relic which grants the ability to perform alchemy in impossible ways. A truly legendary series receiving critical acclaim with one of the best mangaka, Hiromu Arakawa. If you enjoy a good adventure, dark fantasy story mixed with steampunk elements, and of course alchemy or magic or science, whatever you want to call it, at the heart of the story is the journey of two brothers trying to reclaim what was lost. This world is in shambles with a police army state ruling the land of Amestris, and you have many political conspiracies, many dark, insidious, evil overlord-type characters trying to control the population for very ulterior motives. And of course, it all comes back to these two brothers trying to fix the world as they go about it. Fantastic artwork, wonderful sound design, excellent background work, quality storytelling, Bone Studios definitely hit it out of the park, and if you've never watched Full Metal Alchemist, it is a series that just oozes perfection in the way 
of its execution. So there you go everybody, five adventure anime that I personally recommend to you. Now of course I'm not saying that these are the top five of anything, these are just five series that I love and want you to love as well. If you've got more adventure anime recommendations, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more anime starter pack series episodes, of course, let me know as well. And if you would like, let me know what starter packs you would like to see from romance to mecha to shoujo, whatever it may be. I'm willing to, of course, make it happen for you guys. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next installment.